the topic of Yugoslavia is very close to me personally because I'm originally from the former Yugoslavia and uh, it is a, a subject that is very rarely deeply analyzed. It's usually analyzed just on the surface. People look at what's been happening maybe for the past couple of years. They never, never look uh, for the root causes of what happens uh, over there, especially uh, due to the 1990s when the wars over there took place and nobody really looked uh, at uh, why they took place. They just kind of analyzed the consequences uh, that, that happened. And uh, my film tries to look at uh, the causes of those wars and uh, my conclusion was that they are economic, just like most wars that are fought in the world. But my film goes deeper and uh, analyzes the stories of those who said no to the war of madness, who were real, real heroes of, of that time. And, uh, and we also go further, uh, uh, you know, we analyze the situation after the wars of the 1990s and reach the conclusion that the, these newly created states are actually Western colonies. When I came back to Yugoslavia after moving to Canada, I, um, I found uh, a nation that is in, in ruins in the sense that the people have lost all faith in, in a better life. They, of course, have been promised that if they secede or if they overthrow this leader or that leader, they will live a better life. In fact, these people are still living very hard. Uh, the economic situation there is, is not a very good one. And we're trying to analyze why that is so. Who had an interest in everything that happened in the 1990s and who has an interest today in keeping these people divided? The people who were interviewed in my film mostly represent a different viewpoint on the Balkans. Um, I looked at uh, reporting during the 1990s and found that 99.9% .9 of reporters in the 1990s had a very linear story uh, about the former Yugoslavia and uh, never really d uh, dwelled into the subject in, on a deeper level. Uh, this bothered me and I tried to look for reporters and, and media personalities who had a different story. Other than that, we looked at um, people who were involved directly in these matters such as former uh, General UN, uh, of the UN Army in, in charge of Sector Sarajevo, Louis McKenzie, uh, Canadian Ambassador to Belgrade, uh, James Bissett and many others who really had some insights and they've been waiting to be asked all these questions openly without some kind of uh, Western media bias that is usually present in the sense that uh, they will already expect a certain answer before the question is even asked. As for the archival footage, I got a lot of help from uh, Radio Television Serbia, their archives. They really opened everything up for me uh, and gave it to me for free, which is uh, an amazing thing for a, for a young filmmaker. Uh, but um, I also used archival footage that I found elsewhere, uh, got you know all the permission to use it, and uh, the film itself is mostly archival footage. We actually have one uh, bit of archival footage that was never shown anywhere before. It's of a village in Bosnia where Serbs and Muslims lived before the war and during the war, and after the, uh, the country of Bosnia was divided into Republika Srpska and the Federation of Bosnia-Herzegovina in 1995 in the Dayton Agreement, uh, this village uh, uh, became part of the Serb entity and the Muslims decided to collectively leave to their own entity and on the day that they were about to leave, this, their Serbian neighbors uh, came in the streets to say goodbye in tears and it is a scene that is very rarely seen uh, when, when talking about the war in Bosnia to show that people in fact were able to live together in some isolated areas when they weren't influenced by outside forces or by you know, mass media. I, I love being here. I'm very glad that Raindance invited me, that they accepted my film. Uh, it's, it's been an amazing experience. Raindance is, is a spectacle and uh, I, uh, I can't uh, describe how honored I am to be here. Uh, I, I, I'd like to thank the Raindance team for everything they've done uh, and uh, I hope to, to see everybody again next year.